Hey all, welcome to the fifth location of the Anubis quest line. So here we have to find a kitty. Hopefully at the end of the end of this location we will have another plate piece. We are collecting all these plate pieces so that we can please the gods and they would lift the curse they have cast on the Egypt because of a mistake Diggy's father had made. So finding the cat, she must be inside somewhere here. Activating the blue receiver, we can proceed. So we need 3 jars, 5 papyri, 1 piece. Yes, the piece is at the end of it. But we also have to find some other items. This one is a rotatable mirror. You can use these buttons to rotate it. This is one papyrus, this is one jar. So we will probably have several of those tiles throughout this location. Uh, one of the level ups had gave me this 500 energy food. So that is enough to complete this I think. We have also leveled up for 263 extra energy. So with enough energy, let's continue finding those items we need. Another set of rotatable mirrors. We can go up, we can go down. We provide they have to go both of the ways. So we have found one sapphire key which will be used on the left door there. But before that, let me just go down. Alright, let's open the sapphire door now. Again, we can go down, we can go up. Down there is the red key. That will be used for the northern door here. But that's for later. First, we will get something that is in this room. Another papyrus. and another gate has opened up okay we have a door that leads to a different room Okay, these mirrors, they, have, they don't have fixed hinges, so they can be moved as well as rotated. So move and rotate. And that opens up yet another door. Two chests with coins. Now there are two receivers here, we probably have to activate both of them. First one has opened one door 
and for the other one we need two mirrors so there you go let's go there is a gate on the left as well so each of the gate has these tiles with the papyrus in it we also missed some doors on the right side Eventually we will have to check out each one of them because the tile in the center is what contains the quest items. I am actually running out, running out of energy despite having a lot of it. So the energy is quite a constraint on playing this game but that's okay eventually i will have enough regeneration and all so that i don't run out of energy this quickly this is an interesting pit puzzle with a lot of pits One circle, one vertical and we finally have the plate piece. Just collecting the plate piece is not sufficient though. You still have to collect all the quest items to proceed further. Now this one has two receivers and three hinged mirrors. So you can only rotate them, not move them. One of the receivers was activated, sorry, and now the other receiver. These gates don't close when the receiver is deactivated, so that's okay if you remove the focus from one of the receivers after activating it. The food should be enough to complete this in one go. Just 24 more tiles to go. We have actually finished up the quest items. We have collected all of it. So we can go back and just declare it ended. But for the purpose of making the video, I am doing all the tiles. Some people just like to do all the tiles. Okay, one last. No, that was not the last unfortunately. We have some missed tiles somewhere. The reason I show all the tiles in my videos is that for the people who do all the tiles if they are finding a few of them not finding a few of them then they can refer to the video and just search for them so i'm still looking where i might have missed them here is one of them there is also one other thing that i have forgotten there was a girl outside that wanted a cat. We did not find the cat anywhere inside. But I think the cat was outside itself. So I am also going outside to get that cat returned to the girl. And there was a treasure chest behind that girl. So that's what I am going to collect. I think this was the cat the girl was talking about. So collect the cat, keep it back. We also got 300 experience as well as 2 gems. So gems are quite valuable resource. So just get as much of them as you can. Now for the missing tiles. I am going to look for some hidden walls or something like that.
there is also a tool called last style finder in sharp which you can purchase but at this level i will not recommend it when you have 50000 coins it's available for purchase with coins don't purchase it with gems because gems are very much valuable and like i was saying here are the hidden tiles there are both uh, some on both ends mm, they just have some watermelons so this is a 25 cost tile and it gives you two watermelons which is 40 energy so it's totally worth it you are getting extra energy than you are spending and i'm also done with all the tiles here last thing to do go to town and talk to the priest and that ends it so thank you for watching see you in the next one